Now see how we perform mastectomy, you can see. See, first we are giving this kind of elliptical incision. This is also known as Stewart incision. So oblique elliptical incision, that is Stewart incision. After that, we are going to raise the skin flaps. So you can see we are using this Ellis tissue forceps, raising the skin flaps with the help of cautery. After that, you can see which muscle is just behind breast pectoralis major. So we are going to dissect off the breast tissue with the help of cautery from underlying the muscle clear and after that we are removing the whole breast tissue so can you see here what i'm removing nipple areola skin breast tissue breast mass that is simple mastectomy apart from this if you are removing the lymph node for removal of lymph node you can see that pectoralis major and minor has been retracted see the borders of axilla superiorly axillary vein medially there is serratus anterior muscle and inferiorly you can see latissimus dorsi clear after that you can see there is a nerve which is supplying nerve which is supplying the serratus anterior long thoracic it is retracted and i am going to dissect the fat fat is dissected and lymph node is removed you can see here so fat and lymph node level one two three is removed clear whenever lymph nodes are also removed you are going to close the skin flap before closing the skin flap we are going to insert a romovac suction drain one limb is placed beneath the skin flap and one limb is there in the axilla. So this is how we perform mastectomy. It's very, very important, clear? Now see the important questions related to complications of mastectomy. Breast is fatty tissue. You are going to perform the axillary lymph node dissection. You are going to dissect off the breast tissue. So what happens? There is collection of serous material beneath the skin flap. You are going to insert the drain. That's why this serous material is going out. But accidentally, if drain is blocked or it is accidentally removed, so there is collection of serous material in the axilla and beneath the skin flap. Can you tell me what's the name of this complication? Seroma. It is seen in 30% patients. And this question was asked in one of the latest exam that what is the most common complication of mastectomy? Can you tell me? Seroma. This is the most common complication. This is the most common complication of mastectomy. After that, sometimes if extensive dissection has been done beneath the skin, its vascularity is gone. So you might notice wound neck infection because of flap necrosis. So there is flap necrosis, it might lead to wound infection. After that, what are the nerves injured? First you tell me, what are the muscles in relation to breast? Serratus anterior. So can you tell me which nerve is supplying serratus anterior? Long thoracic. There is another big bulky muscle latissimus dorsi so can you tell me what is the nerve supplying latissimus dorsi thoracodorsal so nerves injured long thoracic thoracodorsal and especially one nerve in injured whenever you are performing sentinel lymph node biopsy during sentinel lymph node biopsy what is the most commonly injured nerve tell me this is frequently asked and that is intercostobrachial nerve this is very important this is intercostobrachial nerve most commonly injured during sentinel lymph node biopsy so it is injured during sentinel lymph node biopsy okay one important question question is asked in this fashion that after mastectomy what when patient was pushing or punching the wall yes what happens there is winging of scapula can you see here there is winging of scapula so which nerve is injured obviously there is injury of long thoracic nerve so whenever there is winging of scapula you can see here there is winging winging of scapula so there is winging of scapula there is injury of which nerve long thoracic nerve clear next some patients who are obese you know that obesity is a risk factor for breast cancer these patients are having too much of fat in axilla suppose you remove the breast but little amount of that fat is left in the axilla so what happens there is persistent axillary fat pad and one thing which you have noticed in majority of females who are undergoing mastectomy after mastectomy they are having edema why because there is lymph node lymphatic disruption because of axillary lymph node dissection so axillary lymph node dissection leads to lymphatic disruption and that's why there is lymphedema so it is because of lymphatic disruption it is because of lymphatic disruption because you are performing what axillary lymph node dissection one special complication occurs imagine in the patient of carcinoma breast you have done mrm modified radical mastectomy plus radiotherapy is also given usually after 10.5 years on an average usually after 10.5 years what happens these patients are having worsening of lymphedema there is violet color or purple color nodules worsening of lymphedema severe pain in the affected limb this is known as angiosarcoma and can you tell me what is the name of this syndrome it is one of the frequently asked questions you can see this is how it looks like. So this is angiosarcoma. Usually 
occurring after 10.5 years of MRM and radiotherapy. What's the name? Very, very important. It was asked many times, Stewart-Treef syndrome. What's the name? This is Stewart-Treef syndrome. Clear? So, this is Stewart-Treef syndrome. So, in this case, you are going to find violet or purple color nodules or brownish nodules over the skin. Patient is having worsening of lymphedema and what severe pain is there in the affected limb. Thank you.